Well, hello, members and Rabbitohs supporters. Welcome to the latest episode of the Rabbitohs Insider. Now, as we do each week, we catch up with Mark Ellison and John Sutton for our Playmakers segment, proudly brought to you by Zoom Video Communications, and that's coming up very shortly. Then we'll have our What You Need to Know segment ahead of our big clash in Indigenous round against the Parramatta Reels this Saturday night, and it's brought to you by the team at What If. Next up, we'll have our Pathways wrap-up, brought to you by What If. And then our special feature today, being NRL Indigenous Round, is some very special boots that the players will wear against the Eels. Let's get into it. It wasn't a great afternoon on the field out there in Dubbo last Sunday afternoon, but there were some bright spots for the Rabbitohs. Here's John Sutton and Mark Ellison in our Playmakers segment to go through those, proudly brought to you by Zoom Video Communications. And thanks to Zoom Video Communications for bringing us the Playmakers again this week. And with me, as always, John Sutton, uh, a tough game on the weekend for us to, to have a look at this week. Yeah, it was, Marcus. It's um, definitely not a performance that we'd be proud of. And, you know, we've got a lot of work to do this week at training to come out against Parra and, you know, put in a good performance. Yeah, it's, it's probably uh, a time where, a week where the boys are starting to question a few things they've been doing. The coaches talked them about that. Um, we had a few areas that we're going to focus on this week that we needed to improve. Like, penalties, giving them a leg up out of their own end on the weekend? Yeah, I think it's something that's been creeping into our game the last few weeks. Um, obviously, we just got to get over it, train hard, and um, come together as one and put in a good performance. And just for the people watching, why is it significant to make them come off their own line rather than give them penalties to get out of there? It's just easier for um, to keep the ball away from the trial line, their trial line, um, make them come out, put some work into them, and fatigue them and then you know it makes the job easier but you know on the weekend a lot of penalties a lot of errors just given you know Penrith the number one team in the comp too much ball and you know they run a, they run right on us and with, with the conditions out there it's quite warm there as it was a day game the first one we've had for a while so we needed to put them under a bit of pressure we just didn't do it a couple of other little areas of our game too like first and second play handovers yeah it all adds up and when you're playing the best team in the competition, there's no room for that. And, um, you know, we've got to regroup, got to stay together. Um, I'm sure Wayne and the coaching staff has got some good plans for the boys this week and we've just got to execute it. Yeah, I love the way the media is running us off again, mate. Yeah, I don't read too much into that, never have. And, you know, it's our backs against the wall, but we love that. We do, mate. And I'm sure we'll come out the other end. Uh, return of Cam Murray should be a good one for us this week. Yeah, massive plus. Um, he's been running well. He's um, he's the key to our middle, so it's good to have him back and I'm sure he'll be firing. Yeah, and we look forward to seeing you all out there on Saturday, 5.30 at ANZ Stadium. We take on the Eels, who are coming off a loss last week, but another top, top four team. So we're looking forward to playing them and uh, hope you can all get out there. Don't give up on us. We're not far away from our, our best. Now, NRL Indigenous Round is always a huge occasion for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. This Saturday evening, we take on the Parramatta Reels, 5.30pm out at Stadium Australia. We need to see you there. And this is our segment, What You Need to Know, proudly brought to you by What If. Here's what you need to know about our Round 12 clash against the Parramatta Eels. Brought to you by whatif.com, proud travel partner of the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Did you know, since 2019, Rabbitohs members and fans have saved over $10,000 using whatif.com forward slash Rabbitohs. Here are some quick facts to watch out for as we return to Stadium Australia this week. If there's a round with a Rabbitohs stand up, it's this one. With a proud Indigenous history of rugby league greats steeped in the heart of Redfern, South Sydney holds the greatest Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander representation across all Australian sporting clubs. Since the round was renamed to Indigenous Round in 2015, South Sydney have gone on to win five out of the past six matches. As it stands, South Sydney haven't beaten a top four side all year. Twice they have fallen to the defending premiers in the Melbourne Storm and last week to the Penrith Panthers. After leaking 128 points in the past three weeks, 
South Sydney need to defend better if they're going to be any chance of beating the Eels. With Cameron Murray back in the side this week, the Rabbitohs are bound to find a new defensive resolve. With the lock forward averaging over 38 tackles per game at an efficiency rate of 91.1%. Another Indigenous round brings another incredible jersey, designed by numerous students from the Rabbitohs South Cares program. Keeping with the theme of round 12, all Rabbitohs players will wear specially painted boots, with the majority being designed by Aboriginal artist Alan McKenzie. With Storm Hooker, Harry Grant potentially out of Origin 1, Queensland's next man up, Reid Mahoney, looks a likely option for the Maroons. New South Wales incumbent, Damian Cook, will no doubt be his opponent, as the two look to showcase their skills in front of selectors this Saturday night. If you're travelling, remember, Rabbitohs fans get 15% off select hotels through whatif.com forward slash Rabbitohs using promo code Rabbitohs15. See the site for details. Last week, we were two from three with our Pathways teams, with only our New South Wales Cup team going down by two points after the siren. Here's our Pathways wrap-up from last week's games. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another Pathways wrap-up brought to you by What If. Another big weekend of Pathways, which started on Saturday at the Iron Mark High Performance Centre. With our Jersey Flag team taking on ladder leaders Penrith Panthers and getting a great win, 42-14 to, to start the day. This was followed by a Harvey Norman Women's getting their first win of the year with a very hard fought win, 22-20 to 20, over the Glebe Dirty Reds. On Sunday, out at Dubbo in the Curtain Razor, our New South Wales Cup led all game against the top of the table Penrith Panthers, only to lose 24-22 to 22 with a penalty goal after full time. Let's catch up with one of our exciting women's stars from the Black Rabbits program, Akira Kelly. I'm Akira Kelly and I play halfback and my junior club was the La Perouse Panthers. So I work for Kari Foundation. It's a non-profit organisation that um, looks after Aboriginal kids aged 15 to 21. And um, we try and get them re-engaged back into school, uni or further education and employment as well. So we try to break, break that welfare dependency and. Um, get them set up for life. Um, I got into playing footy because my brother was two years older than me and he played for nappy grades for La Perouse Panthers. And I was only three years old and I just wanted to go out and play so I copied him and I went out and played. Yeah, JT was one of the biggest players that I grew up idolising. Just the way that he saw the game and read the game and the way he played was just unreal. I had to stop when I was 12 years old because girls couldn't play onwards from there. So I sort of moved over to Rugby Sevens and started playing for just Maribor Magics. And then league started coming back up with Tasha Gale Cup and stuff like that. So I moved over to Cronulla and played there for a few years and then moved over here for Harvey Norman women's team. I was about 10 minutes on my way home and Dean called me and he was just like, I got some good news. And he just said, you've made the team starting half back and be proud, like you've worked hard for this. And, I was pretty shocked at the start. I, I didn't really realise it was that real. And um, yeah, the whole trip, I was just like, had a smile on my face. I'm so glad that I came back to South to play with the girls. They're such a good bunch of girls and I'm really enjoying my time here. The coaching staff's amazing and I can't wait to get ready for the season. You gotta be fast, fit, and have that agility to be able to beat players on the outside. So yeah, I definitely gained skills from that. Hopefully by the end of the season, I play good enough to get myself a contract with the NRLW. It's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, my family and my, my tribes and communities are a big part of my life and I've always wanted to give back to them somehow and I hope that I can play a good game out there for them and um, rep, rep the mob. It's a privilege to be able to put the, the Bunnies jersey on. It's always been a part of my goal and I wish that they had a team a few years back when I was a bit younger so I could play but I'm here now and I'm just so over the moon to be playing here and representing um, the oldest, loudest, proudest uh, team in the comp, so yeah. Great to hear from Akira Kelly there and looking forward to seeing what she can do in the Rabbitohs jersey in the coming seasons. Now moving on to this Saturday, we have all males teams playing out of Stadium Australia. Against the Eels with our jersey flag starting on the day into our New South Wales Cup before the main game. On Friday night, we are very excited to see our women's team up against the Tigers out of Bank West, which will be a great experience for all involved. As always, please check our website for game day details. 
Well, finally, now it's time for our feature piece. And being NRL Indigenous round, there's no club that celebrates it better than the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And this Saturday evening, every one of our Rabbitohs players will be wearing specially designed boots by a gentleman by the name of Alan McKenzie. He's designed all of the boots to help raise funds and awareness for Indigenous mental health. Let's take a look at the feature piece on these very special boots. Rah. You wanna see something? Wow, <laughs> these are fresh. Yeah, man. They are pretty cool, though, the colours. These are my boots. Yeah, it is my boots. I don't even want to play in these. They're too deadly. Look at this, bro. Ready? Oh! That's mad. How cool, eh? Look at them. Alan McKenzie, remember the blokes who done, um, the lad who done my other boots last year? Got my two boys with the boomerangs on it. Far out, man. You know, I always go out and represent my boys, but yeah, to have, I suppose that, that picture on the, on the boots is, yeah, I'm pretty, um, yeah, pretty blown away by that, yeah. I got goosebumps here, look, look at them. Um, you know, Aboriginal culture, and um, you know, we, we like to represent our family and um, our people, and I think you're dreaming. There's a lot that goes into these boots. Um, the design um, tells a lot of story about myself, I guess. You know, it shows me on the front, and um, I couldn't be prouder, you know, to wear these. Me and my cousin and um, a few other people from home um, started up a mental health program. Um, we were just raising awareness you know, for our mental health, we're using rugby league as a platform to um, for our kids to reconnect with their mental health. Um, and last year, we we had about I think it might have been nine or ten players that are wear, that were wearing the boots and auctioned them off. And the game last year, I remember all the boys coming and asking me if they could do it. So I thought, what better way to, than this year than to try and have every player in the squad to have it? And I think we've got about 27 um, players this year that. You know, we'll have their boots designed, which is which an amazing which is an amazing feat. Um, you know, we've got a lot of different multicultural um, backgrounds in our squad, and um, to see them go out there and, and represent my culture and the Aboriginal culture is something that's you know it's pretty pretty special to you know to be a part of a club that that um, I suppose that's willing to do that and, and respect your your culture, which is yeah quite amazing. It's an outstanding job by the, the artist, obviously, get through that many pair of boots and. Um, I could only imagine how many, how much time and effort has gone into one pair, let alone the whole team. So, um, yeah, outstanding job by them, and obviously it's going to be good to see all the boys, uh, all their boots looking deadly. You know, Indigenous rounds huge for our culture, and um, you know, all the boys here I know uh, love playing in Indigenous round, and this year I think it's especially um, special having all the boys, you know, wear the Indigenous um, boots and. Um, you know, wear, wear our culture's um, paintings and stuff like that on their boots. So um, it's not just sort of the, the black fellas in the team representing us this year, it's everyone. And I think it adds to a little bit of extra motivation for us as players to be able to represent, you know, the Indigenous players in our side and also um, their families and their culture. I've had a fair few people um, that had a couple of mental health issues and, and were, you know, lost to mental health issues. So. Um, any time that I can support a mental health program or um, anything to do where um, we're encouraging our boys and our, our kids to, to speak up and, and be open with their mental health, um, you know, I'm happy to put my hand up and do and something that I hold close and, and dear to my heart is, is um, you know, the, the mental health component of, of everyday life. You know, if these can go a long way to, I guess, helping the family out in, you know, time of need, um, you know, it brings, you know, so much joy to my heart and I'm very passionate about my culture and, you know, obviously mental health is a, a big thing in, in our culture, so, yeah, can't wait to wear them and um, hopefully it goes a long way to show them, you know, families out there that we can do it together. The important thing is that um, we're probably showing um, young Aboriginal kids a, a bit of a pathway to, um, to help their mental health. Um, now, some of these boots were designed by young Aboriginal boys um, back home where I come from, and they sort of help facilitate, um, you know, the boot design. Um, so we're sort of giving them a platform to, I suppose, showcase their artwork on the main stage, on TV, and that hopefully that sort of kickstarts them into, 
you know, what they want to do in life. We're going to raise so much um, awareness around mental health and wearing these boots. You know, I know that all the boys are going to be proud to wear them and represent Aboriginal culture, but also represent the Rabbitoh. I'll be home soon. Love you.